All right, so we're going to look at the Zoom group now on the View tab. So I'm going to go back to the View tab. Let's go ahead and close this out. Go back to the View tab, and I have this Zoom group. Okay, so now I can zoom differently depending on what I want. So I can click one page, so it'll fit one page to the Zoom. So you can see how it fits the entire page there. Right, I can click multiple pages. So that'll make it so I have multiple pages per area. I can also click the Zoom dialog box. Right, the Zoom button. Sorry, over here. Zoom button. And that opens up the dialog box. And so I have different settings, right? So I can make changes. So like, let's say I want it to be 200%. And then I click OK. Puts it up to 200%. Super zoomed in, right? I talked about this earlier, but I can use a slide as well, right? So I can click and drag to where I want it just depending on what I'm trying to do. So I think uh, we'll do 170 looks good. Okay, and then I also can do page width button, which is up here, page width. So that'll make it so the, the width of the page matches the screen. Now I'm on a pretty big screen, a pretty large screen, so it just depends on what screen you have. Okay, and then I have the easy, the 100% button that just puts it back to 100%. Okay, so again, it just depends on what you're trying to do. We also have this window group. Okay, so this is actually pretty cool. This is kind of similar. We had a similar feature on Excel, if you guys remember. Okay, but I can click this split button and it's going to allow me, let's do this. Let's do um, one page and actually maybe we'll do width. Okay, so I'm gonna click page width so that they're zoomed to the one page. So let's say I'm trying to make an edit right here I can I can be looking at different parts of the same document at the same time. Okay, so that's the split button, right? And then I'll, depending on what I'm doing, I can actually change the size of the split. Okay, so that's cool. You can have two different parts of the same document open at different times. Okay, so I'm gonna click remove split now that we know how to do that. Okay, um, we also have what's called keystrokes, right? So we have different buttons we can push on our keyboard that's going to allow us to um, make quick selections and whatnot. Okay, so in the first line of the body, I'm gonna position right before the S. Okay, so if I press the end button on my keyboard, the end button, it's gonna to move to the end of the line. You see how it, the cursor went from here over to here. Okay, if I press the home button, it moves it to the beginning of the line, right? So the end button goes to the end, home button goes to the beginning. Okay, if I press the page down button on my keyboard, it moves down one screen at a time. Okay, so because I'm so zoomed in, it's you maybe no, notice it, but it's just per page. Same thing with the page up button, right? It goes up one page at a time. I hold the control key and then hit the page down button, it goes down one whole page at a time. Control, maybe control and page down. Why are you not working? Control. Yeah. All right. Well, that button doesn't work anymore, apparently. Okay. Um, control and home. Control and home goes to the beginning of the document. Control and end goes to the end of the document. Home, the beginning, control, end to the end of the document, the complete document. Okay. We also um, can use, let's do this. If we press the control key and with the mouse, we can double click several words. Okay, so we'll just go right here. So I select that word. If I hold the control key, I can select multiple words at a time, right? So I can make changes to just those words. Let's say these are the words I want bolded. They're already selected, I hit bold, and I just did those, just those words. So again, that's holding the control key. It's called multi-select, right? I'm double clicking and then I hold the control and it's selecting the words, okay? Um, if I click and drag, that's selecting whatever text I want. If I double click, that selects the one word. Okay, so double clicking selects the one word. Triple clicking selects the entire paragraph. If I click in the left margin, it selects the line. So in the margin, I click and it'll select the line. I can click and drag as well, and that selects multiple lines. So that's an easy way of, instead of doing this and having to get it right, I can just click over here. Okay, um, if I hold control and click anywhere in a sentence, it will select the entire sentence. So if I hold control and click anywhere in a sentence, it should select the entire sentence. 
right? So this sentence goes from here to here. So it selected the entire sentence and not just the line. Okay, if I triple click in the left margin, I select the entire document. Triple clicking the margin selects the entire document. If I hold shift and use the left or right arrow keys, it selects one character at a time. So I'm holding shift and I select one entire character at a time. If I hold control, shift, so control and shift, and then go left or right, it goes it goes one word at a time. Control and shift, one word at a time. If I hold shift and end, it'll go to the end of the sentence. Shift and end will go to the end of a line. Shift and home go to the beginning of the line. So if I'm right here, shift and home goes to the beginning of the line. Um, let's see, control, shift, and end will go to the end of the document from that point. So control, shift, and end goes to the end. Right, so I was right here, so it went all the way to the end. Control, shift, and home goes to the beginning of the document. Okay, and then control, shift, and down. So control, shift, and down. will select all the way to the end of the paragraph. Okay, and then control and A selects the entire document. Okay, so those are just some shortcuts. You don't need to memorize those at all, um, but they are useful. I use them all the time now that I know how to use them. Okay, so um, if you need to know any shortcuts, then that would be a good video to watch again. I can't find, oh, there we go. Stop recording.